Hello everyone, this is uh, Neil from Destinations Oryx and I'm here to bring you part two of our epic overlanding trip to the Galagari Transfrontier Park. Well, in our previous videos, you would have seen that we didn't appear in the videos telling you what we do, but rather try to uh, share the footage of our experience <clears throat> as seen through our eyes and lenses of the cameras. We are still doing the same in uh, this series from part two onwards, um, but uh, we decided we will include more voiceover comments and descriptions in this video and the videos to follow. So, part two takes us from the first morning in Mata Mata, after arriving the previous afternoon, a very hot afternoon, I must say, uh, to the end of the next day at the Kalari Tented Camp. That was our day six of our overlanding adventure. After arriving at uh, Mata Mata in the afternoon, with uh, the temperature around between 38 and 40 degrees Celsius. We just decided to uh, spend the afternoon uh, at the pool after setting up camp. And uh, the next day we went for a, for a late morning uh, game drive. We took the route uh, from Mata Mata um, on the road, the main road um, down to the Kamkwa picnic site and uh, decided to have a picnic at Kampua picnic site because we were destined to go into the Kalari tented camp um, but obviously um, they will have only been ready for us uh, from around about uh, two o'clock in the afternoon so we decided to set off and see what we could find on on the road um, up to Kampua and uh, it was quite an eventful day so um Yes, uh, please uh, enjoy the video um, and, pl and please do not uh, forget to like and subscribe below. Um, we'll catch up with you later.
The bird life in Mata Mata camp is absolutely phenomenal. Um, there were a lot of birders around, bird watching people around. Everybody was showing other people the type of birds and who was where. We found these um, two little owls and the mother in the tree just uh, above one of the campsites. Um, there was a cuckoo that was fed by the the forktail drongos, um, crimson breasted trikes, uh, crows, doves, pigeons, all sorts of birds um, in the camp. And it was absolutely phenomenal just to walk around and, and look at all the, the, the birds in the camp. And that brought us to the end of another beautiful day in the Khalakhari. The sun was setting in the west and some rain clouds was forming in the far east of the Khalakhari. And soon afterwards, the light at the waterhole and the plants on the edge of the waterhole start playing these visual games on our minds. Can you see the lion and the rhino forming? Oh, yeah.
Oh, what a privilege was that to see those three cheetahs together and the interaction with the Willoughby's. Unbelievable. And yet it was not over for us during for the day. We saw a lot of other animals and we came upon another pride of lions right next to the road. We almost missed them. We just drove past and saw a tail flicking and stopped and we saw these few lions lying together. Yeah, so we arrived in the middle of the afternoon at the Kalari Tented Camp. And what a spectacular place this is. Um, the tents are really, really well furnished. Um, the layout is absolutely fantastic. And what a spectacular, spectacular view um, over the water hole, which is quite a, it's a, quite a distance far away from, from the tents. But um, using the maximum uh, capability of the Olympus lens uh, we could still take some nice shots but uh, yeah we went for a for a very nice cool down in the in the splash pool um, and then we went just to to relax a bit have a cold drink um, and enjoy the views it was really awesome and um, towards the evening um, we saw more activity down at the water hole it's just uh, unfortunate that we later in the evening um, we had neighbors, German-speaking neighbors. Um, that was very loud and rowdy till late in the evening. And they d clearly did not respect the nature and respect their neighbors, um, which was quite um, unpleasant. But yeah, as you always, uh, one of these, you know, these things with these camps, um, it's not like the secluded uh, bush camps you get in Botswana. Um, some people just don't respect nature and they come around and uh, do do other things uh, than um, other than respecting the nature but yeah anyway it was an awesome stay and um, we'll keep you posted